What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing good out there on this Sunday night. I'm doing good myself. Had a pretty nice relaxing weekend. Nice Sabbath yesterday and everything. Feeling pretty much refreshed, okay? I came across this story right here and it's about a young brother that uh, lives in Charlotte, North Carolina, okay? And obviously he lacks common sense. Seems to be intelligent, but not so much to the point to where he doesn't understand. If he's working in a bank, number one, you shouldn't steal money, okay? And number two, if you were to get away with stealing the money, you don't get on social media, you understand? <laughs> and show thousands of dollars that you allegedly have stolen, you understand? Other words, just flossing. You understand? Uh, here's a video about this young brother right here. And uh, we're going to check it out, and then we'll get into the commentary. New tonight, a former Charlotte Bank employee facing federal charges accused of stealing tens of thousands of dollars from his job. And prosecutors say the evidence is all over social media. Photo after photo of the suspect with stacks of cash. New tonight, NBC Charlotte's Brianna Harper now has all, all the details from the FBI. Being a Wells Fargo employee, the suspect had plenty of access to cash. And prosecutors say when he stole the money from the bank, he would quickly make his way to the ATM to make a deposit into his own account. One look at Orlando Henderson's Facebook page or Instagram profile, and you'd think he was living large. Multiple photos posted of him flaunting stacks of cash, but federal investigators say it's likely most of this money was stolen. FBI agents say during at least 18 different occasions this year, Henderson stole cash from the Wells Fargo Bank where he worked. He's also accused of destroying documents and making false entries in the bank's books to cover up the crime. Over time, investigators say he managed to steal more than $88,000 in cash. Money we're told he then used for personal expenses and even put a large cash down payment on a brand new Mercedes Benz. But in order to buy the new car, detectives say Henderson committed yet another fraud by getting a car loan with false information. FBI agents eventually arrested Henderson in California. Here's a look at the long list of criminal charges he now faces, including theft, embezzlement, and money laundering. If convicted of all charges, Henderson could face up to 40 years in prison and possibly have to pay more than $1 million in fines. Brianna Harper reporting, NBC, Charlotte. Now, unless you have proof that you have some sort of a lucrative business, you understand? In how you made that kind of money, you know, to prove, that, well, no, I didn't steal this money from Wells Fargo, you understand? And uh, unless you can prove you have a lucrative business and this is how you made this kind of money, you're done, man. You're going to prison for a very, very long time. And then, you know, you get it. And then not only that, they got you on a paper trail. You understand? That was not smart at all. I don't know what it's all about with the importance of a lot of uh, younger brothers and sisters that feel that they need to impress others. You understand? Now see you the laughing stock and uh, you going to prison. See y'all faking and shit. You know, this just was not smart. But let's give our take on this story right here. You know, as we know, it says FBI Wells Fargo workers stole tens of thousands of in tens of thousands posted stacks of cash on social media. Orlando Henderson, 29, was arrested in San Diego, California. Uh, so he must have went to. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it says here? It, like I said, Charlotte, North Carolina, FBI agents arrested 29 year old. Orlando Henderson for stealing more than 88,000 in cash while he worked at a Wells Fargo bank in Charlotte and a federal indictment investigators said on at least 18 occasions this year Henderson stole cash from the bank vault then later deposited the money into his own account using a nearby ATM all right so you had a little little funneling system going on 
you know, funneling the money from the bank to your account. <laughs> now, this kind of thing happens, man, on a day-to-day -day basis, you understand, with a lot of other uh, people that, CEOs, you know, uh, uh, and other people that work at, you know, these banks. But this is what they don't do so that they don't get caught. They don't get on social media and say, look at me, look what I got. And then they have all this damn money like what you just did. It's stupid. That was stupid. You didn't care about going to prison. What did you think? You know? But to continue, the FBI says Henderson also destroyed certain documents and made false entries in the bank's books to cover up the theft. Investigators also found several pictures Henderson's posted to his social media accounts of him holding large stacks of cash. We're told Henderson used that stolen money for personal expenses and to put a large cash down payment on a 2019 Mercedes Benz. He's also accused of getting a car loan by providing false information. The FBI arrested Henderson in San Diego where he will appear before a federal judge. Henderson is charged with two counts of financial institution, 19 counts of theft, embezzlement, and misapplication, and 12 counts of making false entries and transactional money laundering. If convicted, these crimes combined carry a maximum penalty of 40 years in prison and more than, what's that? Uh, what's that? A million dollars in fines. You wee. Nah, man, it, it just was not worth it. Now, look, no doubt. This took some sort of intelligence, you know, to pull off. <laughs> but then at the same time, it took a lot of stupidity to go and actually get on social media. And like I said, show the money that you stole. Now, this is the thing. With the intelligence that you showed by actually pulling this off, you could have took that intelligence and actually did some righteous with it for yourself to make that kind of money. You see? That's what you could have did. And then that way you wouldn't have went to prison. See, this was just downright stupid. See, they don't want to see you with no Mercedes Benz. You know, they're they going to be looking at when you're doing stuff like this. They're going to be checking you out anyway. So, you know, you should be legit. You should be legit to say, hey, look, I have a, a business. You know what I mean? I ain't stole nothing. And here's where I make my money from. You know, you ain't got nothing on me. See, it's just stupid. So, dude hurt himself. And that's just all there is to it. Ain't nobody fought but his own. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts and, and y'all opinions on it. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. This is James and I'm out. Peace.